What is Kafka? Kafka can have various definitions depending on how we are using it. But one popular definition is Kafka is a distributed commit log. As events happen in a microservice application, these microservice applications put these events onto a log. Apache Kafka is a system for managing these logs. The famous and popular term for these logs is a topic. Kafka stores the events in an orderly fashion and it also writes those to a disk. Not just one disk, it can replicate them across disks to ensure that the messages or events are not lost. Microservice applications exchange events through these topics or streams in real time. And since the data and event can be processed as soon as they are produced, we can have real time analytics and we can do recommendations or make decisions based on these analytics. These microservice applications will have their own processing logic. They don't just read the events from the topic and send them to another topic. They will define their own computational logic. That is where Kafka comes with the streaming API. The microservice applications need to group data, aggregate them, filter them, join them, etc. Kafka gives us the streaming API, which is super simple to use and will be able to do all these right out of the box in our microservices using the Kafka streaming API. Last but not the least, if there is data that is related to our applications in external databases or other systems, we can use the Kafka Connect, which can be easily configured. We don't have to write any code. There are hundreds of open source and commercial Kafka connectors that are readily available that can integrate with other data sources or databases to fetch the data into Kafka or to send the data from Kafka to these external sources in a declarative manner. With a simple configuration, we'll be able to use a connector, connect to these data sources without writing any code.